is Jenner Barrington Ward, and I'm an executive assistant for the CEO and president of a pretty big company. We had a huge uh, corporate reorganization where one boss left and another one came in, and I was in a very, very vulnerable position. Okay, what made me want to work with Misha was, first of all, by the time I really talked to her, I already understood a lot about her background because of how she was presented, you know, through your site. Um, but her answers were just real. I mean, I, I could, I, just the way she, we, we related to each other, I can't, it was like a, the whole process kind of led to it. But by the time we were talking on the phone, I had a really good understanding of her background and she had a really good understanding of what I needed. Whereas the other people I were talking to, that never happened. You know, I felt like I was interviewing them to understand their background and that they had no clue to what I was really looking for. When I come to her with an issue, first of all, she lets me expound upon that. And then she starts kind of like going down to what the issue is. So it's from macro to micro, which is exactly how I work and what I really appreciated. That's just really it. I mean, it, it's, it's easy, it's a good match, and it, uh, it actually has been a really, um, it's kind of evolved too, from sort of like when I was trying to hire her to now being someone I work with. Well, a lot of why it's different when you hire someone, I think that there's this expectation of this hierarchy. Do you know what I mean? They're going to come in and they're going to just perform to what their expectation is. But it's more peer to peer in the sense that she understands where I am and my position, especially professionally. And that's the one thing I really appreciated more than anything was her business, her business strength. She had the real tools to understand both the business part of it and then how that affects, you know, the personal. The issue that I was having internally about my fear of the change and what was going on outside of that situation in my environment were actually two different things. Yeah, I'm one person, but how I was dealing in the office couldn't be a reflection of the fear I was feeling inside. Now that seems like one of those touchy feeling things, but that's exactly, uh, I guess, the, the biggest thing I got from Misha was for her able to just, you know, really in a very nice way, reflect that back upon me of perhaps this is fear-based, you know. I mean, you're still there, you know, they're still depending on you, you're doing a good job, why are you in a situation? So once I was able to understand that it was fear, well then, okay, I can handle it. And I, I haven't really had, I mean, that issue is gone. For me, she was able to just quiet me down and take a broader perspective, which in turn, because I sit in sort of the bird's, the bird's nest, you know, a lot of people come to me because they don't know what's going on. So if I'm calm, it kind of just seeps into every other thing. And, you know, and I don't, you know, for that, I mean, Misha, that was amazing. I don't think that um, human resources internally couldn't have done that, you know, and her being there at that time was just, it was, it was amazing. My best outcome was just feeling more confident. She made me realize my strengths of being there and, you know, not, uh, not to get overwhelmed by the change. Energetic, insightful, direct, um, and compassionate. Very intuitive. She's very quick, you know. There's not a much wasted time in our sessions. It isn't a lot of you know, how are you feeling? It's more like, what's the situation? So being framed correctly from the beginning is very helpful. Um, I think I have a lot more patience and um, I'm not reactive, you know, and that was one of the things that, you know, she really made me see that I was being very reactive to the situation, to my fear. Me and work, I'm pretty, I'd say pretty stable, pretty motivated, pretty excited. And having handled these changes of the last couple of months, I, you know, I'm, pretty adept at just taking a deep breath and going with it.